the math with me. Remember, don't use a calculator. And, and the correct answer is $682. We're using rstudio.cloud. And if you go at rstudio.com, you will learn the different version, desktop, cloud. And here you can see an example of the code I used to create these data analytics case study for the Bella Bit company. Like we said earlier, the legislative branch makes the laws, confirms or rejects presidential nominations, and has the authority to declare war. The judicial branch interprets the meaning of laws. It comprises the Supreme Court and other federal courts. Census Bureau is the biggest data and statistical agency of the United States. You can go at census.gov to learn more. The U.S. Census Bureau provides data about the nation. Here's a portrait of Secretary Alexander Hamilton on the front of the note and the vignette of the U.S. Treasury Building on the back of the note. You can do that by speaking to American citizens living in your home country or visiting your home country. Also, listen to American music, watch American movies in the so-called short tone or, or tone is slightly different from the metric tone. One US tone is equivalent to 2,000 pounds and one metric tone is equivalent to 1.1 US tone. While interviewing in Amazon, all your answers must follow this format. And most importantly, you have to match at least one leadership principles. So my experience working at Amazon has been nothing short of amazing, crazy, stressful, beautiful, uh, motivating, tiring, you know, everything under the sun, every emotion you could think of I experienced at Amazon. 11, all 18 mirrors segments were finished and proven through testing to meet required specifications. Let's go to a billion, which is 10 to the 9th power or 1 plus 9 zeros. There may be over 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Its members are Brown University, Columbia University, Cornell University, Dartmouth College, Harvard University, the University of Pennsylvania, Princeton University, and Yale University. We definitely live in the beginning of a new golden age of space exploration. There are many planetary systems like ours in the universe with planets orbiting a host star. Our planetary system is called the solar system because we use the word solar to describe things related to our star the sun. and a dwarf planet is the kinds of objects that share its orbit around the sun. Pluto, for example, has not cleared its orbit of similar-sized objects, while our planet Earth and Jupiter have no similar-sized worlds on the same path around the sun. Like planets, dwarf planets are generally round and orbit the sun. There are likely thousands of dwarf planets waiting to be discovered beyond Neptune. Our understanding of the universe and our place in it has changed over time. New information can cause us to rethink what we know and reevaluate how we classify objects in order to better understand them. Oh, we stand for Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, launch date December 2, 1995. Next mission, GeoTel, launch date July 24, 1992. Next mission, Solar Orbiter, launch on February 9, 2020 is a joint mission between the European Space Agency and NASA. Other active spacecraft monitoring the sun include NASA's Advanced Composition Explorer ACE. Next mission, wind spacecraft. Comprehensive solar wind laboratory for long-term solar wind measurements. Hubble orbits about 350 miles or 560 kilometers above our Earth's surface. Hubble gave us one of the most memorable and important images in human history, the Hubble Deep Field Image, which shows thousands of galaxies in just a tiny speck of sky. Hubble has revealed the age of our universe to be about 13.8 billion years. Next question, what is a galaxy? A galaxy is an 
enormous collection of gas, dust, and billions of stars held together by gravity. One galaxy can have hundreds of billions of stars and be as large as 100,000 light years across. Many Earth inside the zone, you need more than one million Earth. All right, Claire. So thank you right. for winning $3. Yeah. So any, any comments? Uh, I'm just, I'm just glad to be here. That was actually pretty fun. And, uh, uh, although I missed out on some questions, but, uh, yeah, I, I did, it was actually, uh, I learned a little bit from that too. Particularly Jupiter to boost a spacecraft and reduce travel times to the outer solar system. Travel time to Pluto would be a bit longer with other vehicles. New Horizons, using a flyby of Jupiter in February 2007, arrived at Pluto in 2015. The journey took over nine and a half years. <laughs>